Greetings, my name is Michael DeLand, and I am the Director of College Relations here at Clear Creek Baptist Bible College. And we are back once again with Dr. Helton, and this time we're going to be talking about two other courses that we teach here at Clear Creek Baptist Bible College, and these courses are New Testament 3 and 4. And so, Dr. Helton, uh, as as uh, with last time, why don't you just tell us a little bit about those two courses? All right. Uh, New Testament 3 and 4 pick up at the Gospel of John. And uh, three is the Gospel of John plus his epistles. And then four is the book of Acts mm. and the prison epistles. So in New Testament three, I, I usually get students after they've had the synoptic gospels, the first three gospels. You, you, will, you will take those with someone else. But uh, the Gospel of John is certainly a little bit different mm. in its uh, approach and what it's trying to do, but there is no question what the uh, book is about. It's about belief, the importance of belief, because at least 98 times you will find the word believe in some form in the Gospel of John. And so uh, what I try to do in my New Testament classes is to focus as much as I can on how the text applies to each and every one of us, even today. I uh, sometimes might sound a little more like I'm preaching than teaching, but um, I think it's important that you not just know the history and all of those things that you learn to check out in uh, hermeneutics, but in uh, NT3 and 4 both, you will generally have an exegetical paper to do with me. It's not a hundred percent guarantee, but most of the time uh, you will need to do that. So if you decide to take your courses out of sequence and take New Testament three and four before you take hermeneutics, then you're going to have to learn how to do an exegetical paper while you're On the uh, doing. Yeah, you. I'm not saying you can't do that. I've had students do it and, and do all right, but it's going to add extra work to you to try to figure out because uh, I try to be as generous as I can, but you're going to have to do that exegetical paper the way I taught folks to do it in hermeneutics if, if you want the best grade. But uh, then in T4, we will walk step by step through there with all of the apostles that come on the scene and the book of Acts, certainly Paul and Peter are the two main characters, earth, earthly wise, but really everything focuses on the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit is helping those disciples continue the ministry that Jesus started. And then the book of Acts closes with Paul in prison at Rome and that is where most likely he wrote the prison epistles from. And uh, so it picks up or some of the prison epistles would have been written there anyway. And so it's just sort of natural that you would pick up the prison epistles along with the book of Acts. But uh, history and geography are quite important in the book of Acts. So we'll deal with all those kinds of hermeneutical issue. For me, uh, and I know many other Christians, the Gospel of John is a very important gospel. Um, it's different than Matthew, Mark, and Luke, which are the synoptic gospels. Uh, when you're teaching the Gospel of John, is there a certain point or a week that you consider to be a highlight for that class? Well, the, you have to, I think, come away saying that the the 11th chapter of the Gospel of John is, uh, that's the heart of, that's the resurrection of Lazarus. Amen. And that is actually, in my estimation, a acted out parable of the coming resurrection of the Lord. And uh, that that is the seventh of those seven signs that we see in uh, the Gospel of John. So really at chapter 11, uh, that for me, you, you hit a crescendo there. That's uh, if you understand that he was not raising Lazarus from the dead just for the sake of doing it. It was um, it was a picture of his coming amen. resurrection. 
Amen. I love that. I love the emphatic I am's in the Gospel of John as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the early Christian church, of course, is covered in New Testament 4. Uh, what would you say would be a highlight among that class that you teach? Well, uh, I think that if you come to understand that in the picture of Peter first, uh, Peter gets a lot of attention, and then Paul some people read that and, and they come away thinking that Paul and Peter had seemed like two different Gospels. Mm -hmm. it, but if you understand them within their context, you discover that Peter and Paul were preaching exactly the same yes. uh, Gospel. And the uh, just the massive numbers of people that... Uh, are converted. It's uh, 3,000 people on one sermon. I'd like to preach one of those kind of sermons sometimes. <laughs> uh, rather, those are amazing things. But I think one of the, the big things we need to take away from the book of Acts is that there's only one gospel, and Peter yes. and Paul were preaching the same thing. Amen. Amen. Uh, that's so, so correct, and I appreciate your insight into that. If you want to know more, of course, you, you take the courses and you'll learn so much more. And uh, we invite you to do that. Uh, once again, Dr. Helton, thank you so much for, for sharing a few moments with us and, and uh, you know, talking a little bit more about these two very important courses that we teach here at Clear Creek Baptist Bible College. I will say this, uh, New Testament 3 and 4 are only two of eight New Testament courses that you'll learn here at Clear Creek if you do the bachelor's degree. And we also do the same treatment in the Old Testament where you get eight courses there as well. Uh, Dr. Helton, uh, we will uh, end the video here. Again, we're, we're gracious for your time. And uh, with that, I'll say good day.